one thing that's been happening to me and also to Kate a lot ever since we moved, like people will make conversation with us. We'll see people, you know, at the park or the playground or whatever. Whenever I used to go to the playground, people would just say, oh, your daughter's really cute. How old is she? Now, like 50% of the people that I meet, I swear to God, this is their words, not mine. They say, she's so cute, is she half Chinese? And then I have to say, she's half Korean, actually. And they go, oh, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it necessarily. It's just, it's just funny to me. And then, you know, we had to have like a, an inspector come over to certify that, you know, everything in our house was to code or whatever. And then when the inspector left, he said, Shay Shay to Kate. Hello. Uh-oh. Inspector Kate. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> We, we had the, I, I muted just in case there was something sensitive. No, my wife, you me, no. my wife said the inspector came and said, everything looks great. But then I said, thank you. And then he said, she, she, dai jin. <laughs> and I was like, go, go. Oh man, that is great. Actually, the same thing happened uh, with one of our neighbors. I was having a conversation with them and they were like, I saw your wife. Is she Japanese? And I was like, no, she's Korean. And they were like, oh, Korean, that makes sense. And I was like, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> Everyone's going, what the hell, white people? No, these are like also like half of them are Asian people that are coming up to me and going, you know, is your, is your daughter Chinese? Although there have been a couple of white people who have been like, do you mind if I ask you if your daughter's half Chinese? And I'm like, okay, she's half Korean. And I'm like, we, come on, we shouldn't be saying that. We should know better than that. We've got to be on our best behavior. How about you? I don't know. I'm still, I, I really want to do like my own family tree, but without submitting my saliva to ancestry. I still think that I'm not French Canadian. I think that I have, because, you know, here's the thing. You could have a French Canadian last name and be 100% fully French Canadian. French Canadian great grandparents who had French Canadian parents who had French Canadian parents who had French Canadian parents. I genuinely think that I, that I think there's the, and I'm not saying it could, like I want it to be this way. I'm simply saying I don't believe that I'm French Canadian because people in Montreal are so uh, attractive. <laughs> I mean, I've never really been to, uh, I've never been to like Shawinigan or like um, Ramouski or, or Trois-Rivières or anything like that. I've been to Hull, but there's a lot of people just crossing the Rideau to get there, right? But whenever I've been in Montreal, on the way there, I'm like, oh, I'm returning to like my, my genetic homeland. And then I get there and I'm like, this isn't where I'm from, man. I'm from some fucking cave in, <laughs> I'm not gonna pick a country, but <laughs> some ugly ass cave in, Ohio, exactly. Yeah, England, but not like the cities of England, but like the bogs, you know what I mean? You know, like they, the, the, a part of England that didn't know that like William the Conqueror conquered England until like 200 years after it happened. And then like some nobles were just like, whoa, we found a bog. And then I like my, my great, 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 great grandfather emerged from the bog and was like, said something incomprehensible to the, the people that, of England. And then they were like, look at this guy. He's wearing like, uh, I'm trying to, wearing like a moss trench coat or something like that. Mmm, pineapple, so good. Did you see that Pinky Doll is making $7,000 a day on TikTok Lives, plus an extra four to $5,000 in OnlyFans signups? It's honestly aspirational. Did she pay you for this? No, she's taken over media just by the power of her presence. Did you see her talking to her kid and she's French Canadian? She's your people? I don't think I'm French Canadian. I know I have a French Canadian last name. But I was trying to think of like, I, I've never done like an ancestry.com or something like that. But I was thinking about how I could have a French last name but not be French. And I was thinking like, I bet 
here's how I think it went down. You got to go back like, uh, like eight generations. There was like a French guy, pure French, all the way down. But then he married someone that was 0% French. They got married. They had a son who's 50% French, 50% something else. Then that son, because he retains the name in our primogenitor male-driven culture, married another person who is like 0% French. Like, I think the, only, the name got passed down 100%, but the genes got halved at, at every generation. I don't think I'm French. I think my name is French. I think I'm like 2.5% French and 97.5% Australian. Do people at the airport talk to you in French because of your last name? All the time. Yes, they do. They do always hit me with a, a bonjour followed by a bunch of stuff that I should understand but don't. Um, and then I look at them with a vacant stare and they say, oh, he's an Anglophone. And then they say nothing else at all. They just usher me through the gate in disdain seat me right next to the lavatory and <laughs> take turns punching me in the face until I pass out. 